when I first got the call from Tom Heyman, um, telling me that I'd been nominated for this award for the Sepsis Hero Award, I was, I was totally caught off guard. Um, I, I, my initial reaction was I kind of chuckled and laughed and I, I expressed to him that in my mind, um, the, the people who work at the Sepsis Alliance are the, are the real heroes. The, the, the work that they do, that you people do on a daily basis, because so many people do not know about sepsis and so many people, are, you know, ultimately don't, don't survive sepsis, it's just such a wonderful organization and, and you're doing great work and educating people and saving lives and that's what heroes do. Um, but anyway, we, we kind of laughed about that and uh, I just, I expressed to him how how humble I was and how much I appreciated the, the award. Um, when I got sick back in 2013 and went septic, my family, you know, didn't know really what sepsis was. And anyway, long story short, I, I lost my limbs, had to be amputated. Um, I was in a, in a coma in the hospital for a few weeks and uh, I, I laugh with Bonnie and my wife and tell her all the time that I had the easy job. You know, I just was hanging out at the hospital, laying around, didn't know what was going on. And, and she and my daughters and my whole family were by my side at the hospital 24 seven. They were praying for me. Uh, friends of mine were, were constantly back and forth to the hospital praying. People all over the country had, had through social media heard our story and were sending messages and prayers and that kind of thing. And so uh, in my mind, those, those people are in my life are, are my heroes. The, my family, my friends, the doctors that work so diligently and so hard to, to save my life. And uh, at, at one point on Christmas morning, actually, of 2013, they told my, called my family in and told them they had done everything for me they could think to do and that I was going to die, that they needed to say their, their goodbyes. And my wife, Bonnie, being the feisty one that she is, she, she just flat out told the doctor, said, you're wrong. He, he's not going to die. And she actually climbed up in the bed with me and laid there and prayed and prayed. And miraculously, later that day, things started turning around. And here I am. Long story short, it is, it's truly a miracle that I live. But we went to Chicago for a couple of months to rehab there at RIC. And uh, when we came home, a nurse from the hospital in Raleigh at Rex Hospital, where we were, introduced us to the Sepsis Alliance. And she had lost a neighbor to sepsis and was involved with the Step on Sepsis fundraiser and, and 5K here in uh, Raleigh that we do every year. So Bonnie and I and the rest of my family got involved and um, have just met so many wonderful people through the Sepsis Alliance. Uh, we are 100% committed to, to help in any way we can going forward to uh, donate our time, our money, whatever we can, whatever little bit we can do. But uh, just hoping that, that since this award has been presented to me, um, Hopefully one day I'll, I'll earn the title of hero. Hopefully I'll share, share the message or help educate somebody on sepsis and we'll, we'll in a roundabout way, save a life. So um, it's just very humbling to me to receive this award. I, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. And uh, I'm just thrilled to know that my, my family name will be forever associated with the Sepsis Alliance. I, I can't think of a finer organization to, to support and be a part of. So thank you very much.